week eight in the regular season then at uh, Bulldogs Para taking on the one and six budget roadies. And uh, well, we're, we're hoping to do well. I've kept Steve Murray in the lineup despite the fact that his form is not so hot. Um, and that's purely to see if he can play through it against what is, on paper at least, not a great team. Uh, I mean, we're coming off some, some big, big wins uh, in the last couple of weeks. And hopefully we can, we can keep this pressure on. Uh, in order to keep our championship hopes alive. As ever, it is Cindy Vapid to get the show underway. Cindy, over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brandy Fever pitching for budget. And uh, we'll be we'll be try hoping to, uh, to take her to school. Cindy with a nice big hit, but she's going to be caught. And that's out number one. Here's Kojak Mister on. Batting 5-7-7 this season. A very solid performance. Uh, her runs batted in, maybe not so strong, but that's probably because we've moved her higher up the batting order, and, uh, and therefore, you know, she's not got that opportunity. Well, that's a good hit, and that fact that just put it in the warrior. Boy, all right, okay. So there, Kojak uh, silencing the critic in one simple move. Not enough runs batted in, eh? Okay, well we'll see about that. Kojak there banging it over the fence. It's a good one. Is Ulysses' failure. He had a big week last week, which probably means that he's not going to have quite such a good week this week. But we'll we'll see how we go. Um, anyway, we'll uh, a couple more uh, couple more hits off Brandy, and uh, she'll start to doubt her very existence. Uh, what's this baseball all about? Why am I throwing it? All of that kind of behaviour. Uh, two balls, two strikes. Failure. Nice hit, but he's going to be caught. Out number two, Prawn Jock there over in left field, getting the job done. Here's Jack Mercury. He's turned the corner a little bit. His fielding's still awful, uh, but his, uh, his hitting has been a slightly better in the last couple of weeks. But, uh, I mean, you know, every, every week is different, and that's why we like the game. You're never entirely certain what sort of performance you're going to get. That's three balls and, and one strike. And uh, Mercury's going to get himself a handsome little stroll there. Here's the big man, Zoltan. Uh, he's, uh, he's ah, we love him. Yeah, we just, we just love this guy. Don't you love this guy? I love this guy. Yeah. No, I mean, he might just fluff this, but it doesn't matter. We love this guy anyway. Well, he's, he's certainly taken that one to town, and uh, yeah, put that one in the in the cheap seats. As, uh, as Bulldozer Power rack up another couple of runs here in the first inning. And, uh, and Zoltan looks the business. Uh, we have hit two home runs in the first inning. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, here's, here's Big Steve. And, um... Come on, Steve. Just get a base hit, mate. It'll do your confidence good. Yeah? Just, you know, get, get on base. And, uh, yeah, Brandy Fever's confidence has been knocked already. Steve's going to do that. It's not going to be enough. And he's gone. At the end of uh, their first inning, Bulldogs power three runs. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, first up is uh, a familiar face to Bulldogs of Power Faithful. It's Big Rod McGurk. Uh, the, uh, he's a stealer and he likes high pitches. Uh, pitching for us is Viv Crumble. Uh, ominous Bob was up in the lineup, but uh, no. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, yeah it's, 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 all, it's all Viv right now. Uh, I was uh, in a good position in having uh, three starting pitchers fit enough to play. Failure with the slide in. Gets that one. Puts McGurk where he's used to being put. Uh, here's Kiki Tyrant. Uh, uh, probably the captain of the team. Should be. Uh, one would think. Uh, set up that way. Um, we'll see if she's uh, she's come to play or not. A, a fairly mediocre season score so far. With a 273 batting average. Um... I mean, that's, you know, that's solid for the pros, but uh, not in this league it isn't. No. Uh, what's that? Strike two? Okay. Viv, pull her away. Viv tries to pull her away. Cindy with the dive. Couldn't quite get there in time, and uh, Tyrant will take first base. All right. Okay. That's, that's all fine. We can we can live with this. Here's the catcher now, uh, Stella Doit. Uh, she's looking confident in her sunglasses. Let's see if we can't take that expression off her face and make her look less confident. Well, that one's that one was awful, and we've uh, we've given up a free base there. Well done, all in, all involved. I mean, okay, I may take some of the blame there myself, probably because it was my fault. Mephisto's going to have to make a move. Couldn't get there, and they're going for home already. 
and uh, fielding errors galore have uh, well I, I would say fielding pitching fielding all of it errors galore uh, gave up an easy run there and uh, we need to we need to be a bit more clever about this by which I mean uh oh yeah you know how you were saying you got lots of pitchers yeah you haven't any more no um uh, Viv caught that one right in the chops Viv how you feeling she's not feeling great in the slightest no she's we're gonna we're not gonna be seeing her for a little while now viv is uh is oh no i can't keep uh, i mean jeff is already out injured uh disneyland is probably fit to play but this is still the first inning you can't put a starter on as a reliever even if it's the first inning they get uh they get really upset about that all right well you know what Bob's already rubbish, so let's put him in. Yeah, we'll relieve him after a couple of innings, but I can't. He's not going to be any good to us, uh, or nobody's going to be any good to us uh, in a little while. In fact, this was a this was actually a terrible coaching decision. Last week was uh, was full of great coaching decisions. This one was a terrible coaching decision. I should swap him out again immediately. No, no, no. We'll, we'll see if we can, if he can't break his way out of his his current slump. Uh, if he can't do it against this team, I don't know who he's going to be able to do it against. All right. But you think uh, giving up a, a three-run homer is, is going to be helpful in some way? Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah, you should have. I'm going to let him see out the inning, and then we'll get shot at him. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, no, terrible coaching. I can't, uh, I can't blame anybody but myself because I'm the one who is to blame. Uh, Bob is going to have to. Oh crikey! Uh, he's going to have to dig anything in, in any. Come on, Bob! In any direction, Robert. Uh, just there you go. Right down the middle. Doesn't matter. There we go. Just you. I, I mean, there's no other way of getting your confidence back. There's strike two. That was better. All right, and that's nice too. All right, good, good. Come on, Zoltan, get us out of this hole. There we go. All right, out number two. Good, thank you. Here's Gas Pumpit, uh, the third baseman. He's tense. Well, his mood's about to improve because he's facing the, uh, the, the the unnecessary power of Ominous Bob, who couldn't quite get to that. That's going to be a base hit, but we're, uh, we're not in terrible shape, not at the moment. It's okay. I take full responsibility, but at the same time, you know. Uh, 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 yeah. All right, that one's popped up. Caps locks underneath it, and that will put the uh, put the side to bed as they leave the field. All right, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Ominous is up in the in a batting rotation. I think we do. I keep him in? No, take him out of the batting rotation. See if we can't get some uh, break even. We started started brightly, but we lost all of that pretty quickly by uh, by just coughing it up, and the the loss of Viv Crumble. Is, uh, is disheartening to say the least especially when we are thin on relievers that was a terrible effort caps lock there goes out cheaply here's Lim Nefisto come on Lim come on Lim come on Lim there you go Lim Nefisto there making a base uh, that'll do nicely alright yeah alright Bob you are worse than useless and, uh, and I'm getting rid of you this is a bad scene um, right, Mullo, yeah. Now batting, number 39. All right, it's Mars Mullo, everybody, coming in from the bench. Uh, he's a halfway decent batter, but uh, we've we've yet to see him actually put in anything resembling a halfway decent performance, uh, which is why he's rising the pine uh, in favour of uh, his replacement. He shouldn't necessarily have swung at that, but we got the base off it, and that's good. Yeah, that's okay. Here's Cindy. We'll be hoping to make amends for her first at bat, which was not the best you've ever seen. All right. Take your time, Sind. Uh, something, you know, something a bit, uh, a bit spicy would be good here. Two strikes now. Yeah, that was obviously outside. We're not going to swing at that. That was obviously inside. Not swinging at that either. Come on, clown. That was high. And you know it was high. No way was that. Oh, come off it. Here's Kojak. Uh, Kojak started the game pretty strongly. We've got two runners on, two outs. Uh, Kojak opting to... Uh, I don't know if she has swapped hands. I can't remember. Doesn't really matter. It plays the same either way. 
Kojak there getting a little bit inside her own head, by which I mean uh, me second guessing everything. As when we go, what am I? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be. Hang on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, take that strike. That's the full count. Kojak pops it up. I think that was high as well, but it uh, doesn't really matter. No, just flipping. Just crikey. Jeffo, you up to it? No. Jeffo is not up to it. Okay. All right, we've got Diz. Yeah. We've got Bants. All right. Do you really want to put them away with Bants? Yeah, let's see if Bants can't hold this one down. And, uh, and then we'll bring on Diz a bit later on. I mean, we've only got eight innings to cover, assuming we don't go to extra innings. But uh, even so, I don't, I don't like burning through my uh, my relieving bullpen quite as rapidly as we are doing. That was a nice hit, but it was foul. All right, come on, Tulip. That's good. That's good. Kojak, super, excellent. That was great. That's what we like to see. Here's uh, is Kiki Tyrant. Got a base hit first time round. And uh, we'll be hoping to dispatch her relatively easily. And we do. Kojak there with the take. Out number two. Now Stella Doit. She's locked in. Got high levels of confidence going on. Which is not what we'd, we'd hope for. Um, Zoltan, have you you got this, son? He's saying not quite. Zoltan hadn't quite got the reach for that one. Uh, Doit there. Sticking it straight up over the long way. Uh, to centre field, and uh, she'll stick in a home run. Here's Tarquinius Bangfish. Uh, got himself a single on his first attempts. Uh, and, uh, we want to uh, we want to dispatch him, uh, ideally. Uh, let's not uh, let's not let Tulip's mood suffer, because uh, once you once you start sliding, then trouble happens. Thank you, Kojak. Out number three. Well, at the end of two innings, uh, the score is 6-3 to three in favour of Budget, uh, following a disastrous piece of defensive play in the first quarter, and then a really, really poor decision on my part. Anyway, here's Ulysses' failure. What's he got for us today? And he's going to wait that one out. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, he waits that one out as well. Actually, the, the, the dubious out has still got me a little bit bothered. Uh, from the last one. Should not have been... Oi! Stop injuring my players. Uh, well, Ulysses gets uh, gets dinged in the leg there. Uh, hopefully he's all right. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll find out in due course. We're not getting any injury reports at the moment. So, uh, so maybe he's okay. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, strike two, ball one. Uh, Jack Mercury up to uh, up to the plate, and he almost he almost finds himself on the wrong side of a bean ball there as well as uh, failure takes second. Whoa, whoa, wait, down, you clown! Oh, thrown off your game! Oh, beautiful work there by the pitcher, completely threw me. Um, no, that was very, was very good. No, I can't can't fault anything about that. I felt it was coming in, and it wasn't. Oh no, I was suckered by a computer. Yeah, I know. Anyway, here's Zoltan. One out. Failures on second. Zoltan put in a nice performance in the first inning. Struck what? What is with this? How tall is this referee? Is he a regulation height? Zoltan. It's not quite there. He might take his base. Hold on. He didn't get tagged. Failure didn't get tagged. Defensive error. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, okay. Forced to Steve Mori to try and turn this into something. We've got uh, one out so far. Steve wastes no time. Puts in a lovely hit. Well done, Steve. Good job, mate. Good job. Good job. And uh, and Bulldozer Power claw back a run. Uh, bringing up Rudy Capslock to hopefully keep the motor running on uh, on what is a productive run of play. And we'll see how productive it is. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. That one's Skywards, but I don't think it's good. It's not good. No. Okay. All right. If everybody stayed on their base there, we had time enough to advance, you know. Here's Mephisto. She's capable, certainly, and uh, and has proven herself since entering into the lineup on a regular basis. That's solid. Is it good enough? Yeah. Go on, team. Go, 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 go. Shreya Chua. 
Tour Hallyu. That was risky. Uh, here's Tulip. She's batting 667 this season. We're going to let her swing away. We've got two outs, but we managed to. Uh, we did manage to get a run off that last one. If she can just dribble a base hit off this, it would be great. That's not bad, but it's not going to be that good enough. She's gone. But uh, pulling back two runs there. Bulldozer power. Done well. Done well. All right. Feels like the momentum's all over the place at the moment. It's very hard to say who's got the uh, who's got the flow going in their favour, and uh, and that's what you want from a bit of baseball. Uh, uncertainty keeps it lively. That was popped up, Steve. What do you think, Steve? What do you think? I reckon that's in the crowd, mate. All right, okay. Uh, two strikes now. Tulip, take him out. All right, Tulip doesn't quite take him out there, and, uh, and that's a base hit. Right. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's all right. We'll be all right. Here's Prawn Jock. Got himself a home run earlier on today. And uh, he's going to be trying to do the same thing again. Yeah, he was the one who punished Ominous Bob. Mercury. Nice. Gets the gets the runner to second. And that's fine. The, the, taking the lead runner is no, no bad thing. Uh, here's Mary Decimal. She's tense. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what that uh, what that stance is all about, but uh, there it is anyway. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That's it. Yes, nice pitching there. Tulip. That one's popped up. Steve has it. Out number two. Okay, good times. Uh, here's Gaz Pumpit again. He's still tense despite getting a single with his first at bat. Uh, but that's that's like oh yeah. Yeah, you keep doing that all day, Gaz, if that is your name. Jack Mercury. And that'll be out number three. Nice piece of defense there from Bulldozer Power at the end of three. It is six to five in favor of the budget roadies. This is not going to be a low scoring game. I mean, it could end up with the scores we've got now, but six to five is already a moderately high scoring game. Here's Cindy Vapid, round to the top of the order once again. Waste no time in getting out straight away. Cindy, having a bad day. Having a bad day, Cindy Vapid. Here's Kojak. All right. Yeah, that's ball. That's a ball. That's no good. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that one either. See, Cindy was too quick to snatch at that first pitch, I think. I mean, it was a nice pitch, and she, she made solid contact with it. But uh, could have could have rode the, uh, the opportunity a little further there. And Kojak... Picked off there at, by uh, second baseman Kiki Tyrant, and uh, not going to make it to uh, to the base. Uh, failure. He had a, a free go last time around after being hit by the pitch. This time around, he tries to kill the pitcher, but doesn't get anything from it, and we'll get a one baser. That's that's the that's the new lingo. A one baser right there. And uh, pitching change. Uh, Brandy Fever's out of here, and Joe Cannon's coming in. Uh, quite an early reliever to be brought in. But, you know, as I said, it means nothing yet. We'll we'll just wait and see. Yeah. Uh, his pitches are all over the place, but Cannon does have good control. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know Failey's got the legs to steal, but... Uh, oh, that was a flipping ball and a flaming pitch in a bit. Mercury getting it done. That's nice. This is... Only a good thing if we can actually capitalise on this by getting a run. Um, and uh, if anyone's going to help us with that based on their form today, it's going to be Zoltan. But, uh, crikey, the swerve on that bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was some bad boy swerve and no mistake. Two balls now. Uh, just about a strike. Definitely not a strike. That's ball three. Strike two. Come on, Zoltan. You've got nothing left. And he gets a walk. All right. Zoltan waits him out. The bases are now loaded. It falls to Steve Morrie to turn this into something golden. Oh, crikey. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's all right. We're soaking up this guy's pitches. And that's, that's helpful in and of itself. Nice hit from Steve. But uh, ultimately achieving nothing. And uh, with the bases loaded, the tighter the team is retired. I don't mind when they get good contact, you see? Don't mind that. Uh, that's okay. If uh, if solid contact is made, I'm, I'm quite happy for them to uh, to get out. You anticipated me for a fastball. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Well, well done. I mean, he, he's only a pitcher. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's not going to hit it very far. Well, okay. He's only going to hit it as far as uh, Zoltan's dojo. There we go. All right, Zoltan picks that one off. Out number one, Big Rod McGurk. Round for another at bat. Uh, he's yet to have a hit today. But that doesn't mean that he's not going to get a hit today. No. Past performance is no indicator of, uh, of current future prospects. And so on. That one's gone off the back fence uh, before, uh, before I don't know, just being declared not, not a good one. That one's going to do the same thing again. Yeah, all right. Come on, McGurk. You were rubbish when you played for us. Keep it up. He didn't like that one. No. Chillip, sort him out. No, he's going to keep hitting it foul. He's going to waste our time. Ah, oh, what? He, po he, he pops a cheeky one over the pitcher's head there, and uh, and that one has gone for a base hit. Boo! Here's Tyrant. Uh, not being massively impressive when it comes to uh, uh, anything. No. But, you know, that's okay. Yep, foul number one. All right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, solid at second, but... Oh, Cindy almost had that. That would have been golden. Uh, go on, Cindy. Rocket arm. Not enough. Runners now at the corners. Cindy almost caught that one, but it was going at such a pace that, you know, we couldn't expect her to keep hold of it. I mean, it would have been nice if she did, though. That would have been amazing. Yeah. All right. Can't you? Keep it, keep it together. It's Stella Deutz, who does have a home run today. Uh, but I think that that was luck. Caps lock. Nowhere close. All right, straight to third. There you go. And uh, they, they, there's a little bit of momentum behind the budget team at the moment. They're, they're getting the runs uh, moving again, having just gained an extra run. But uh, we're not there yet. We're not. Uh, we're, we're far from being uh, dismayed. Steve looking for it. Steve doesn't know where it is. Steve, where is it, Steve? It's like, you know, it's like my cat trying to find something. That one's gone up in the sky as well. What is it with them all popping it backwards over their heads today? Uh, whatever it is, they can pack it in. Well, I think it's possibly because you're putting the pitch down the centre and a little bit low. Maybe? Well, whatever it is, they can pack it in. There you go. That's no, another foul. Uh, just, just put them away, please, Tulip. Cindy! No, can't get there. No, for crying out loud. There we go. The throw to home is not going to be there in time, and that's another run. Sure, oh, here's Susan Turbine. This is this is pretty demoralising run of play that we've got going on here. Uh, one of you get it. Any one of you get it. I don't care who. Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Another out. All right. Sometimes you'll you'll hit a run and you just kind of go, I don't care. Look, I just want to I just want to stop them in their tracks here. They feel like they're starting to run away with this and uh, and we can't allow it. Uh, they might have been one and six coming into this game, but I've given them every opportunity to be a better team than that. Out number three. Okay. All right. Yeah. Gave up two runs. And as the scoreboard tells you, it's all over the place at the moment. Uh, very hard to say for sure if uh, of the, which team's playing better, other than, of course, my own personal bad choices early on. Caps Lock's nailed that, but it's uh, it's just high, and therefore it's out. Yeah. All right. Round to Mephisto. She's had two base hits today, and her run batted in. She's not waiting either. No, she's gone as well. Oh, crikey. All right. Okay. Do you not want to wear this picture down a little bit? He's only thrown 16 pitches, and he's got about 400 people out. Yeah. Well, it's Tulip, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, she might get on base. You reckon? No. Oh, solid effort, but I don't think she's going to... No, there you go. There are three, three separate fielders coming in there to try and grab that catch, and they did. Eight plays five, midway through the fifth. And uh, Mary Decimal is up to hit next. Uh, she's got plenty of eye black going on there. I, I couldn't tell you whether that's to stop the reflection from the floodlights or uh, some kind of style idea. Cindy can't get to it. Story of the day. Cindy can't get to it. She's not doing anything wrong. 
but uh, is is still having difficulty with all of it, frankly. Is this? Uh, it's gas pump it. Yeah, is he still feeling nervous? Yeah, he is. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. Bull one. All right. Tulip, I need you to get through to seven, all right? And then I can bring Disneyland in to wrap it up. All right, just letting you know. Just, just letting you know that's what's needed from you. Mephisto coming in. Feels like she's in the right place. That's the catch. Okay, out number one. Okay, all right. One away. Uh, the pitcher up next. And he's uh, he's got a look about him that says, I feel flipping confident. He anticipated that. Yeah, I know. We, we like throwing the first pitch as a fastball. Uh, he's gone for the bunt. And uh, that shouldn't be allowed. He should be out. Yeah. Yeah. Just because bunting shouldn't be allowed, you see. He's doing it again. All right. So we'll just finish him off. There you go. He's out as well. Uh, they advance the runner, but that's two outs now. Big Rod. Uh, next up to bat. And uh, we want to we wanna stop him in his tracks from being too cheerful. And uh, no, there you go. He's, uh, he's dealt with, and that's a side retired. And a scoreless inning for once uh, for both teams. First time of the game, the fifth inning. No score. All right, here we go. Into six. Cindy's now tense because she's had three, uh, three fluffs in a row. Come on, Cind. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. You are the, you are the, the lead off batter for this team and uh, you will lead us back into the back into the light Sind. or you'll get a walk I'm happy with that that's fine uh, his uh, is Kojak uh, she's a home run and nothing else I mean a home run's nice but uh, more than a home run would be nicer -er. ball two that's done. I was going to swing at that you know and it was high ball three uh, has Cannon's uh, accuracy gone to pot or is he just rubbish now? Well, I don't know, but there you go. Second walk in a row. I'll take it. It's all good. Is Ulysses' failure. He's had a single and he's been hit by the pitch so far today. And he's had, uh, he's had one out. That's a savage old swerve, that one. All right, strike two. That was right at the edge. Crikey. Uh, ball one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Ball two. Yes. Didn't need to do that there, Yuli. Uh, double play, but we did advance the runner to third, uh, giving us a scoring opportunity if Jack Mercury can just get a base hit. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, with two runners on base, you had, you had the scoring opportunity there already. Yeah. Giving up double plays, you should never be thrilled about that you know, under any context, unless you're defending, I suppose. Mercury there, whiffing at, uh, at thin air. Oh, no, no. Ah, fortunately, that went foul. Ah, he's just, he was swinging at rubbish. And he swings at rubbish again, and he's going to be out. And uh, another inning without profit. Okay. All right, Kiki Tyrant next up to bat. Uh, two singles for her so far today. And uh, we'll be hoping that that's all she's going to get for the rest of the day. Yeah. No, she should, she should remain single. What? Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Go on, that's it. Nice one, Tulip. Yeah, put it somewhere where she can't get it. I don't know. Where's that? Don't know. Failure? He was looking at it all the way there, but never bothered to put his glove out to actually catch the thing. And uh, Banter gets... No, it's not Tulip Banter. That's our pitcher. Oh, yes, Kiki Tyrant gets herself another base hit. Here's Stella Doit, who has been somewhat dangerous for the game so far. That one's gone skyward. Failure, have you got this? Yes, I do have it. Are you sure? Do you want a second opinion? All you have to do is put your glove out, man. And you had that first one as well. Here's Tarquinius bang fishing. Uh, he's uh, two or three. Okay. All right. What should we do? What should we do for him? Let's, let's do him something over there. No one can get to it unless they can. Lynn Mephisto with a beautiful diving catch there. Uh, Bangfish thought he had uh, something special, but he didn't. He had nothing special in the slightest. As we uh, as we look at Susan Turbine, who's in uh, for the next uh, for the next at bats. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Strike one. Yeah. 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 You might have anticipated it. You didn't swing at it though, did you? No. Cindy. 
Not even close. And Zoltan now with a poor throw to third. Uh, but Mercury manages to snag it. And that's uh, runners now second and third. Prawn Jock. Uh, no, sorry. Runners at the corners, not at second and third. Uh, Prawn Jock is, uh, is next up. Two outs here. Bottom of the sixth. Come on, BDP. Dig deep. We don't want to get even further into a hole when our, our hitting is so inconsistent today. Yeah. I mean, we could pull back from three. That's the thing we could... Oh, flipping egg. Can we pull back from four? No. No, we can't pull back from four. From three? Not a problem. From four? Oi, Mercury. If the ball hits you in the glove, you have to catch it. Especially when it's been thrown by your own teammate. Here's Mary Decimal. Runners now first and second. Or a run batted in there. Yeah. Decimal. Couldn't hit a pitch that was straight down the middle of the uh, strike zone. That gives me pause for hope. Yes, yeah, us uh, get a shaker up a little bit. Yeah, don't get too comfortable in there. The next one could be coming at your head. Yeah. It won't be, because that's not how I play. Kojak. It's a bit high for Kojak, and that one's gone wide at the foul line. Uh, but that would have been lethal had that been, uh, had that been a legit pitch. That one's uh, foul as well. Yeah. Planning on, uh, planning on hitting one properly. That one's got a caps lock. He'll put it away. And thankfully, no further damage incurred there. Uh, nine plays five as we head into the seventh inning. And it's Zoltan up to bat next. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Zoltan. You can do it, man. All right. Their pitcher, Joe Cannon, starting to show some signs of fatigue. Good. Uh, Zoltan. Nuts it. Has he done it? Yes, he has. Zoltan, second home run of the day. I think we're into the uh, the Zoltan, Zoltan renaissance period now. Uh, as, he, uh, as he shows that one, who's boss and why he's the boss. Sadly, no other runners on base, so that was only worth one run. But uh, here's big Steve Mar Oh, and they're making a substitution. Uh, Joe Cannon is out of here. Nexus T Nexus, the relieving pitcher, coming in in his place. Alright, what's he made of? Oh, is he made of cheese? I don't know, he looks a bit like a pepper army. Does he? Not really. Oh dear, big Steve strikes out. Steve, I might have to sub you, mate. And you know I don't want to do that. Steve, playing like utter garbage. Uh, here's Ruby, Rudy Capslock. Hasn't had a hit yet today. Still haven't quite figured this picture out. Yeah, I mean, Control has given me the, uh, the okie-cokie at the moment. You, you alive? Are we good here? Yeah, I reckon it is. There it is. Caps Lock finally gets a hit. Good. All right. Okay. Come on. We can uh, we can make this work. We can make this work. Here's Lynn Mephisto. Uh, she's been moderately consistent. But we need uh, we need a good hit from her here uh, to, uh, to get the engine rolling. Because uh, hot on her heels will be uh, the, uh, the pitch tulip banter. Oh, dear. Never mind. Forget I spoke. No. Yeah, what a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish there from Bulldozer Power. One run batted in thanks to Zoltan and his big fat hitting over the fence. Uh, but uh, it's not done enough. The gap is still three as uh, as Gas Pump It comes in. Yeah. I want to take Tulip out. You've got to take Tulip out. She's absolutely exhausted. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, substitute. I've only got one. I've only got one reliever. Yeah, I know. Because both my other relievers are dead. Yes, I'm aware of this. Come on, Diz. Take him home. Means you're going to have to bat as well. So, you know, do well at that. All right, one's got a Cindy. Who drops it? Vapid. Oh, my goodness. Oh, to drop the easy catch there. Fortunately, we got the run out. But even so, uh, Cindy Vapid is just having an absolute stinker. All right, strike one. It's the pitcher. Don't make it complicated. Disneyland, get him out in a couple of pitches, as few as possible. That'll do nicely. Cappers, he's there. He's got it. He's under it. He has it. Out number two. All right, round to uh, McGurk once more. And uh, we'll be hoping that, uh, well, obviously. Yeah, we're always hoping something. Yeah, we'll be hoping that, you know, we win the game and that. Yeah. All right, try on the change up. Nope. Okay, I just want—I'd like a strikeout, please. 
I mean, usually we've had one or two. But, uh, Cindy, can you get that one? Thank you. All right, out number three. Another scoreless inning for both teams. Oh, no, just for them. It's, uh, and uh, as we head into the eighth, BDP trail by three. Disneyland's up to pitch. Uh, they've taken out McGurk, and they're bringing in Don Garcia Funk uh, in his place, which is odd. He's a catcher, and they're playing him at, at, uh, at first base. It's all right, Mark. I'm not expecting nothing from you, mate. You're a pitcher. Yeah. I mean, got contact twice there, but uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't quite there. Right, Cindy. Redemption story time. That'll do. No, it won't. Uh, yeah, so close, but uh, rubbish. All right, well, two outs already, and it, uh, it falls to Kojak to try and uh, dig us out of this hole. She wastes no time. She's going to be picked off. That flipping shortstop is playing great, uh, but Kojak had the legs to make it to first. His failure... Nexus is gone. They're bringing in John Splinter, their closing pitcher. Oh, and he's really good. He's really, really good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Fine. Failure. Don't be intimidated, man. Knock this over the fence and the game is flipping on. Yeah. Either that or take out their pitcher. All right. Either of these things and the game is on. Failure there, unable to get the game on. Oh, no, never mind. Oh. And with, uh, well, that's, yeah, that's not good news, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Kiki Tyrant having a belter of a day, three or four for her. All singles, but that kind of consistency is what's helping this team get to the lead that they have right now. Yeah. Off the back fence, Steve, forget it. Yeah. Oh, also, Steve, when you're next round at bat, expect to sit down. Um, just saying. Maury's under that one. Has it. Out number one. All right. Here's Stella Deutsch. She's had another, she's had another player with a flipping good day uh, going for her. Uh, with a home run. Couple of runs batted in. Fairly consistent at, uh, at the plate. Uh, which is, I mean, it's nice for her. Yeah, it is. Less, less good for us, though. Oh, yeah. That's not good for us at all. Nice pitch there, Mark. Rudy's got it. And out number two. Good. Well done, team. Well done. Here's Tarquinius Bangfish. The flaming shortstop. And he's very good. He is very good. I wouldn't mind signing him. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I've, we've, we've struggled at shortstop uh, for, for a couple of seasons. And uh, it would be nice to have an absolute humdinger at shortstop. In fact, it's since Bam Bam Puckeye left the team. We've uh, we've never had a decent shortstop. Uh, uh, yeah, I might have, that might be something to consider in the postseason. Strike two. All right, try him, try him. All right, try him. It's popped up. Cindy, please don't drop this. Cindy. Thank you. All right, all done. As we head into the ninth. Bulldozer power with everything to do. My controller saying, <laughs> I'm going to make this complicated. Look, the new controller's turning up in a couple of days, but we can't wait that long. We've got to get this done. Uh, here's Jack Mercury. Not the best player on the team. No, ball one. Okay. If you say so. Didn't feel like a strike to me. All right, ball two. Yeah. Jack, good hit. And he takes his base. Super. Right. Okay, that's one. Here's Zoltan Zoltan. If they don't if they don't throw him a uh, throw him a walk here, I'd be surprised. Alright, ball one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's ball two. Come on, Zoltan. Get three home runs in a day and people will absolutely love you. Alright, three balls. That wasn't the one. Nah. Strike one. Oh, that was the one. No, flipping heck, he couldn't hit it. Crikey. Full count, and it's low. Zoltan gets a walk. We have the tying runs on base at the moment with no outs. Steve Morrie, sit down. I don't want to, but I'm going to. It's Julie Hardware. He's in for Steve Morrie. Julie, don't try and be clever. Just get a base hit. All right. There we go. Come on. Come on. He's popped that one skyward. Everybody go home. There we go. That's it. 
Alright, out number one. I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna risk the bases off that one. No. Is caps lock. Single will do, Rudy. But a home run would be better. That one's in the dirt. Okay. This closing pitcher is not all of that. His numbers look insane. But his stamina is flagging in a hurry. Good hit from Rudy. Is it going to stay in? No, it's not. Just wide of the line. Uh, ball two. Strike one. Oh, Rudy caught sleeping there. Okay, full count again. Come on, caps lock. He's going to be caught. And that's trouble. All right, two outs now. Uh, if Lynn can hit a home run, we tie. Okay, that's, that's all I'm going to say. Anything other than that. And, uh, and the motor keeps running. Uh, there's ball one. And uh, Splinter is starting to get proper tired. And that's all over. Mephisto can't make it happen. And uh, a loss there against a team we were expecting to win. Did we lose it in that one inning? I would say possibly. Possibly. But we did not play consistently at all in this game. Uh, and therefore it's, it's hard to say for sure that we would have, uh, that we would have stopped that rot. Uh, had we not lost our starting pitcher in the first inning... Anything could have happened, but that, friends, is baseball. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, the number of substitutions alone tells you everything you need to know about the desperation setting in there. But it keeps it interesting, a loss for Vivian Crumble, which is incredibly harf, harsh, given that she was barely on. Uh, that's very, very harsh indeed. Barely on. Ominous Bob causing all the damage there. Yeah... Yeah, he did cause some damage. Um, and uh, your three stars of the day, unsurprisingly, Zoltan Zoltan, who had an absolutely storming game. Uh, Stella Doit, Prawn Jock, rounding out the top three there for the roadies. We've got ten games coming your way now in the way that games often do. And uh, first up, it's the Stardozer Human Resources against the Port Miggins Pirates. Uh, both teams with good winning records so far, and it's the Pirates that take this one. Okay. Grazer Ridge now taking on the Colonel Space Agency. Both teams have got three wins this season. Colonel Space Agency only have four losses. Grazer Ridge have five. Jojo Football's pitching for Grazer Ridge. Well, uh, whereas Rudy Trembles is taking it on for the KSA. Uh, let's see how it goes. Grazer Ridge get three in early. Uh, add to their score late on, and that's a six to one victory in their favour, which will help their season out no end. The Bumson Medics are taking on the currently winless Colonel School. Um, well, it's Flynn Banana Tree who's uh, is going to be pitching for Colonel School and going to be hoping to do something here. Uh, the Medics putting up a lot of runs there. 9-2 to two the final score as Colonel School remain completely winless. Sunshine Fun Bus is 6-1 and one at the moment and they're taking on the Ob City Axemen. Uh, Barry Science leading the way as far as their batting is concerned. Former Bulldozer power player Sonny Watt at second base also present in their top three right now. The Fun Bus up for a three-run lead, uh, but the Off-City Axemen come back to win that one, 8-4. to four. Erg Mellonflex Chroniclers are taking on Cheerio Incorporated. Uh, both teams on a three-win record at the moment. Inigo 9mm pitching for the Chroniclers, uh, whereas Lance Splendid is taking the, the mound-based duties for Cheerio Incorporated. One of them will win, and that winner is Cheerio Incorporated. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, the Beekeepers, last season's runners-up, taking on the newly formed Picks Creek Miners. Um, you're looking at the likes of Sammy Vacuum and... Uh, Biscuit, Wayfarer, no. Budget, no. Barry, no. Burr, 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 burr. Wayfarer, burr, budget, don't know, can't remember. Interesting. Uh, and then taking on the Miners. Let's see. And a controller goes on the wobble once again. The Miners running away with that one, 6-3. to three, Keeping, uh, well, make, keep making a Colonel Cam division proper interesting. The mob, the Pirates are back in action again now, taking on the Nomads. Uh, can they build on the records of a win that they got earlier on? It's looking good. 7-6 to six, the final score. Uh, the Pirates on a bit of a charge right now and uh, taking their way to the top of their division. We'll have a look at the divisional table shortly. The Sea Raiders up, up once more and they're taking on the Minstrels. Uh, the Minstrels have got PG Percy Jeff pitching for them today. Shamrock Bobblejet, their leading uh, batter. Uh, with Pingu Specific and Sammy Fiasco. No, no, lead-off batter, I should say. Though They're not statistical leaders. It's the opening three batters is what's shown at the bottom. 
That one went to 11 innings overall before uh, the Minstrels won it 11 to 10. Extra thrilling in extra innings. Sports Ball Union are taking on the star, star path finders who are red. Uh, Sebastian Gavelbanger pitching for the Sports Ball Union. Uh, Jack Snaggles and uh, Sean Lemon. It's not Sean. It's not, is it? It might be. I can't remember. Why can't I remember? I don't know. You've got some names that you don't use quite so often. They for you. Oi, controller, get your life in order. There's nothing wrong with you. Well, obviously there is something wrong with you. The new controller turns up in two days. If you could stop belly aching until then, it'd be great. Let's play the game. Uh, Pathfinders, two nothing. That's a victory. Uh, finally, we've got the Failure Wood Hills team, who are four and four at the moment, taking on the Steganauts. Uh, Chirp Scott pitching for the uh, Failure Wood Hills team. Uh, we'll be taking on the opening three batters of Tag Evil Couch, Steg Stegerson, and Bandit Joe. See, I can remember some of the names, so that's that's all good. Steganauts putting up nine, ten, eleven, eleven nothing. Steganauts win. Let's have a look at the tables now. Uh, Woodchipper division over in Fail Brigade and uh, the Pirates following their two-game charge are now 7-2 and two ahead of the 6-2 and two Stardozer Human Resources team. Excitement. Colonel School still yet to win a game. The only team with fewer than two wins this season. Youch. Uh, in Bombastic, the Nomads are at the uh, top of the table with 7-2. and two. Three games are, uh, ahead of Grazer Ridge, who are a game ahead of the Colonel Space Agency. Can anyone catch the Nomads? Um, in the fish tank division, it is far, far, far closer. Grunt Auto Group have four wins. Bumson have four wins. Peninsula Transport have three. That one could go many ways. Lingo Blend All-Stars lead the battle plan now. Five and three, their record with a nine-run difference. Bulldozer Power also on a five and three record with a six-run difference. The Budget Roadies picking up their second win of the season. Now trail six runs over in bad company and in the whoop whoop the sunshine fun bus knob city axemen are all but tied on six wins red star pathfinders are back by two with four sloganator division four five five four four five three five is the results that people have had so far this season minus 11 minus seven and zero the run differences in no particular order. In the Zesty Division, the Wretched Minstrels and Bongolia Sea Raiders both have five wins, but the Minstrels have a plus 18 run difference, putting them in the top four or five for run differences in the league. Nice. Sports Ball Union on only two wins so far are going to struggle to make their way into postseason. Finally, in the Colonel Cam Division, the Picks Creek Miners and Beekeepers are tied as well. But the Beekeepers have a negative run scored deficit of minus nine. It's not as bad as Cheerio Inc., however, who've won four games this season, but have a minus 15 score right now. Good stuff. We're facing the roadies again in the second of two game, uh, second of three games uh, as, our, uh, as our next match in the season. I do hope to see you there. Hopefully, we can get some payback. And the one thing we know for sure, Ominous Bob will not be pitching. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to keep up with this and other games. Cheerio.